Okay, I thought I'd do a quick video showing the little Sherline mill in operation. I've made a start on the electromagnet engine, which uh, exists only in my head at this moment in time. Um, I need to make two of these. This is the, I've made the first one. This is a support pillar for the electromagnets, and this is the electromagnets, or it's one of them, and that's going to sit in there like that fits quite nicely in there and then there is a hole offset hole which the wires will come down out through the bottom then there's a tapped hole in the base to mount it so that's that's one of them um, and I'm in the process of doing the second one and basically the first operation is done on the lathe where I basically machine turn these to the right size put a chamfer on the top um, drill the hole for the mount for the magnet also drill and tap the base the next process, once that is done, is to mill off half down to the bottom of the mountain hole for the electromagnet there. So, and we're going to do that on the shirt line. And then it goes back on the lathe for the this rather large cutout at the bottom where I use a, a much larger milling cutter and I use the lathe to, to, do, to do that. So that's where we're at at the moment. So we'll zoom in on this so you can... Uh, see what's going on a bit clearer. Let's sort this out. There we go. Right. So the show line is a bit noisy. <laughs> Bear that in mind. Speed up a little bit. Anyway, there you go. Let's uh, have a look at that. It does actually make quite a good job. That's not focusing, is it? There we go. Yes, it does actually make a very good job. I mean, obviously, I'm only taking small cuts. The let's come out again. This is the R16 collet 
chuck which arrived from Banggood finally and I'm now able to put a 10 mil collet in there so this is a, a, a dual flute 10 mil uh, end mill which is coming going through the brass very nicely it's it's it does its job so I, I just thought you might like to see a quick video on the Sherline actually doing some work obviously the you can also see let's come back out again you can also see that the Sherline uh, covers for the Y screw have been have arrived and I've fitted them. Um, I basically they they work very well indeed. They're, they're, they're a great bit of kit. Um, I made one uh, small modification. Let's bring this up the way. Made one small modification, uh, basically to the front one here. Originally, the the this plate here is part of the concertina cover and this plate originally was held to the front via a, a, a spring which basically looped around where the hand wheel is fixed which it, it was okay but I didn't really like it that much and it tended to interfere with the operation of the hand wheel so basically what I did was I made a small plate up which bolts to the plate, which is fixed to the concertina cover. And then I drilled a small hole just under here, uh, 4BA in the bed of the shirt line. And this plate fixes to the bed of the shirt line there. And then it fixes to the cover here. And that holds this uh, plate for the concertina cover up against the hand wheel boss nicely and firmly. And it doesn't get in the way. So you can use the hand wheel uh, perfectly all right. But yeah, so uh, that's it in operation. As I said, I will, uh, haven't used it an awful lot yet. This is really one of the first jobs that I've actually uh, used it, used it with. Um, but it certainly is proving to be extremely useful. So there you go. The share line in operation. Just a very quick video to uh, show you it uh, doing its stuff. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.